she was exemplary. She was one of our teachers of the year. She led with her heart, care and compassion. Our children were attracted to her because of her spirit. Students and teachers at Wild Lake High School struggled to make sense of the murder of a popular teacher who was four months pregnant. Thanks for watching the news at noon. I'm Andrea Roan. In about an hour, Laura Wallen's boyfriend, 31 year old Tyler Tessier, will go before a judge for a bond review hearing. Investigators found the pregnant woman's body in a wooded area in Damascus yesterday. She was buried in a shallow grave. And right now, grief counselors are at Wild Lake High School helping students and teachers come to grips with her murder. Evan Kosloff has more on today's latest developments. Well, the community is shocked today as they are saying goodbye to Laura Wallen and also learning more about the person that supposedly killed her. This right here is Tyler Tessier. He is the man that's facing murder charges today. But what's really incredible about all of this is that Tessier, the suspect, was the same person that you saw just a couple days ago during that press conference, making that authentic, emotional plea for her to come home. You may remember that this had a lot of folks watching pretty convinced. I just pray that, I pray that she's safe and she comes back. Even now, it still sounds just so authentic. Here's where the story takes yet another interesting turn, though. Police are now telling us that before that press conference even started, they thought of him as a suspect, but they wanted him to speak because they wanted to hear any inconsistencies with his story. And get this, the parents were even aware of all this. He was definitely a person of interest. Um, we had already um, identified a, a, a couple of inconsistencies and in information that he'd given us. And again, it was a calculated decision by the detectives to allow him to speak at that press conference. But while the prosecutors and the folks inside of this courthouse are going to be thinking about the suspect, the community is focusing more on Laura because for them, they don't want to think about how she died, but how she lived and they have nothing but love for her. Take a listen. She was exemplary. She was one of our teachers of the year. She led with her heart, care and compassion. Our children were attracted to her because of her spirit, because of who she was. She's an amazing person. Um, she, she truly is one of those special teachers that, that touches children here before she touches them up here. This is the most nicest person I've ever met in my life. She made sure that I did what I had to do as a student, as a person, as a man. We all asked ourselves in the circle, uh, why? Like, why? why? Like, what motivated you? Like, why? Like, why? Why you? Why you? <laughs> like, how could you be possessed with so much hate to take a soul that means so much to people? Like, look around you. Look around you. These are kids. Again, that hearing is expected to get started at 1 o'clock, and we are going to have a crew inside the building so we can give you guys the very latest. But, of course, at this time, we want to send our regards to Laura's family, 31 years old, carrying a baby when she was murdered. Reporting here in Rockville, Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9.